close prayer. Oh, there's my my view. No one else can do the things that you do. Lord, I searched for all of them. And I couldn't find nobody. Nobody to treat me like you do. Nobody to love me like you do. Nobody to know me like you do. So God, now we come to open up your book. We come to sit your feet and hear your word. Speak to us, Holy Spirit. Use me simply as a person. Unclog any impediment that might prevent that word from going through. Out to the people. If you are ordained to hear it. Maybe not only hear it, maybe see it. It is all blessings that we ask. In the name of Jesus, let every heart say amen. 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 So good to see all of you. All of you look so beautiful. Amen. amen. The Bible says that you be faith. Thank you. But a woman whose heart is at the top, she shall be forever beautiful. Amen. 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 So when I say that I see beauty, I'm looking at what's inside you, Mother. No one else knows all that you've gone through. That's right. Like you and the Lord does. That's right. You have your Bibles. Go with me to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 21. It's so good to see Sister Cynthia at home. Yes, it is. Hi. How are you? You're looking great. How are you feeling? You feeling good? Just a moment. I guess you feel good. <laughs> What can I ask that again? Yes. Sister Warren, how are you feeling? Hey, much better. Hey, much better. Amen. 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 God bless you. Matthew 15, verse 21. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus went to thence <clears throat> and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Mm -hmm. And behold, a woman of Canaan mm -hmm. came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Mm -hmm. But he answered her not a word. Mm -hmm. And the disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. For she cries after us. Mm -hmm. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, yep. help me. Mm -hmm. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and cast it to the dog. Mm -hmm. right, right. mm -hmm. And she said, True, Lord, mm -hmm. yet the dog. Mm -hmm. Eat the children's bread. My Lord, my Lord. Amen. The crumbs which fall from their master's table. Yes, sir. And Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is your faith. Mm. Be it unto you even as you will. Mm -hmm. And her daughter was made whole mm -hmm. from that very hour. Thank you, Lord. Maybe seated in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. This morning, very briefly. Amen. A woman's, a, a mother's faith. Yes, sir. That moves God. Mm -hmm. All right. A mother's faith. Yes, That moves God. Yes, sir. Was anybody in this sanctuary or on this live screen? 
have a need in your life. If you just have a need in your life right now, just say amen. 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 Does does anyone here have an expectation from the Lord? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Does anyone have anything that you need from the Lord to do specifically for you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I suspect that everyone under the sound of my voice has needs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. In fact, I would go a step further and say that most people listening to this word today have one or more major needs in their life. That's right, that's right, that's right. And you do not see how that need is going to be met. Oh, Am I talking to somebody? Oh, Some people are looking at devastating family problems. Mm. Talk some, talk all right, some. All right, all right. Some are looking at financial difficulty. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Right. Some are looking at a problem with a child. Yes. Can I get a witness? Some are looking at their own souls and realizing that they may just be lost. <laughs> Some are looking at disease, mm -hmm. illnesses, mm -hmm. and wondering what lies ahead. Mm -hmm. Some are having surgery soon, and you have put it all in his hands. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some are looking at their parents and realizing that their parents won't be here forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can stay here all day and not exhaust a list of problems that people are facing today. That's right, that's right, mm -hmm. that's right. In the midst of your problems, you need someone to help you, you need someone to help you. You need someone that you can turn to for your solution. You need God Amen. to work in your life. Mm -hmm. You don't need him to lift every burden. That's right. Mm -hmm. Just the heaviest one. Mm -hmm. That's right. You don't need him to move every mountain. Mm -hmm. Just the highest one. Right. 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 You don't need him to take you out of every test. Mm -hmm. Just to help you pass the hardest one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Am I talking to someone here? Yeah. Who am I talking to already? Mm. You don't need God to give you the whole loaf. Mm. Mm. You just need a crumb. That's a crumb. That's, right. That's a crumb. <laughs> and that is the situation that we are looking at in our text today. Mm -hmm. Jesus is approached by a mother who is in a desperate situation. Mm. She needs something in her life. That's right. She comes to the Lord, and as she does, she is not asking for the whole book. She's just asking for a crumb. That's right. That's right. She knows that a little crumb mm -hmm. is better than nothing. Mm -hmm. She has a faith as a mother that moves God. And so as I preach this text this morning, I want you to get something from it. All right. I want you to know that there is hope for your situation today. Lord, my Lord. No matter what you think you need today, God holds the key to it. That's right, preacher. Can I get a witness that whatever you need, God's got it too. Mm -hmm. He's the same God who worked it out before, and he's the same God who worked it out now. Mm -hmm. Hold on, Herman. I want to take this text and the situation of this poor Canaanite and just share a few thoughts that teach us that a crumb from his hand 
it's more than enough. That's right. More than enough. That's right. Let's examine this passage. Mr. Wells, for four minutes. All right. And I believe we'll find the help that we need for our own lives today. Praise God. All right. It says, Then Jesus mm -hmm. went to the region of Tyre and Sidon. A Gentile woman, a Canaanite woman who lived there, came to him pleading, have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. Mm -hmm. For my daughter mm -hmm. is possessed by a demon mm -hmm. that torments her day. Hey. Mm -hmm. But Jesus gave her no reply, That's right. not even a word. And then to add insult to injury, his disciples urged him to send her away. Yeah, yes, they did. Yeah, they did. So Jesus said to the woman, I was only sent to help God's lost sheep, mm -hmm. the people of Israel. Mm -hmm. But then she came and worshipped him, pleading again, Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Notice the text here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She's saying, the problem is my daughter is vexed with a demon. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't say, help my daughter. She says, help me. Where you going, preacher? Where are you going? You are here today because somebody went to the Lord on your behalf and you don't even know about it. You are here today because somebody prayed for you. Anybody here that know you're here today because I'm going to pray for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus responded with what seemed like finality in his voice. <laughs> he said, mm -hmm. it isn't right to take food from the children of Israel mm -hmm. and give it to dogs. Mm. Oh, my God. That's what he said. That's right. I'm trying to help somebody right now. Right. Come on. Help us. She replied, that's true. Uh -huh. You can call me whatever you want to. Uh -huh. <laughs> see me however you want to see me. Mm -hmm. right. It don't matter. That's right. I need some help. Mm -hmm. you know, with it. And I'm coming just as I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She said, but even yeah. the dogs yeah. eat the crumbs that fall beneath their master's table. God Almighty. What you say? <laughs> you see, some of us would not have gotten our blessing right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus, amen, is actually being offensive on purpose. Mm -hmm. He wants to know how bad you want it. Mm -hmm. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Are you willing to go through being called names? Are you willing to go through people saying you ain't gonna be nothing? Are you willing to go through people saying you ain't never gonna have nothing? Yeah, I'm what I am. Whoever I am, he is. I'm a dog, can I get a witness? But even the dogs eat the crumbs that falls on the master's table because he knew that whatever was in the loaf is in the crumb. Help me, Holy Ghost. In the trunk, there's healing. In the trunk, there's the universe. In the trunk, a crumb will do it. A little crumb will do it. I don't need the collard greens. I don't need the potato salad. I don't need the oxtail. Just give me the crumb. That's what I'm going to the life. Then Jesus said, mm -hmm. Mother, mm -hmm. your faith mm -hmm. is great. It's great. Yeah. Your request mm -hmm. is great. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. And the door was instantly. Yes, sir. 
you know you have haters. Mm. You have discovered that even religion won't work. Because mm. mm. religiously, she wasn't supposed to come to Jesus. That's right. That's right. That's right. She had to overcome that. Because mm. yeah. the rules said, at that point in Jesus' journey, mm -hmm. he was just there for the Lord Chief of Israel. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. So you have experienced the rejection of the religious people around you. Mm -hmm. Because the religious people, the disciples, say, get rid of her. That's right. Mm -hmm. oh, my God. She is coming. She's crying after us. Mm -hmm. Now, be clear. It's important that they said this was a Canaanite woman. Mm -hmm. Because a Canaanite was clearly, clearly a black African. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's just say this was a black mother mm. crying for the spiritual renewal of her children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, you get laughed at, why do you keep going down to that church? Why do you keep going to Jesus like that? Mm. Them folk don't care about you. But when you know, you know that you need something for the Lord, mm -hmm. you understand what it means for the religious folks, but you overcome that. Mm -hmm. You can call me whatever you want to call me. You have the audacity, as I suppose, to say that I'm crying after you. How are you going to say she's crying after us? She ain't crying after you. Mm -hmm. She's crying after Jesus. Mm -hmm. Can I get a witness? Mm -hmm. She's crying after love. She's crying after healing. Mm -hmm. She's crying after deliverance. Yeah. She says, help me. Because whatever my children is going through, it involves me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. And how dare you tell me that I'm not supposed to love my children and what they're going through? How dare you tell me that uh, uh, I love my children more than I love you? Mm. Yeah, I'm their mother. Yeah. And whatever it is they're going through, I don't always come to church for myself. As a black mother, All right, I come for my grandchildren. I come for my children. Amen. I come for my son. I come for my daughters. Because the world we live in today requires a mother's faith that can move God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord God. Thank you, God. You have experienced the rejection of the religious people around you. Yet you still want to see the help that you need. Let me tell you that you can come to Jesus. That's right. If you do, he will not turn you away. He's your home. Others have been praying and seeking God about matters that trouble your heart. You have cried out to him and asked him to do this or that in your life, and there has been no answers. You feel like giving up. Let me encourage you today. God's silence is not an indication of God's unwillingness to reach your needs. God, God's silence is test our faith glory and remind us that he operates on a different timetable than we do right. Right. what obstacles are you facing this week? I'm telling you persist that persistence seeking the Lord and in his time you will see every barrier fall and I thank God 
when you are defeated, it's over when you quit. That's right. Amen. I like what you did. He said, I ain't here for you. She got his attention because she humbled herself and she came just as she was. That's right. And she said, Here am I, Lord. I ain't worried about what they talking about, how my hair look, I ain't worried about how they talk about how my dress look. I ain't talking about they talking about I ain't got no car, I ain't got I walk to church, amen. I ain't worried about none of that. I come into this place, this building, because I need help from the Lord. Can I get on this? So give me a crumb. I'll be satisfied. Mm -hmm. Give me just a little bit mm -hmm. and I'll be satisfied. Mm -hmm. As we stand on our feet. Mothers. I know you go through some difficult times. I know sometimes it feels like you and the babies. If you just hold on, be persistent, change the game, get his attention, and he'll say, where is your faith? Look at you, a child, every day, but you just kept coming back again. He told you, they talked about you and called you everything from a child of God, but you kept on coming back. And not only did you come back, but you worshiped. And that's why somebody can say, Praise for my children. Who's going to help you sing that today? Who's going to help you sing that? Thank you.